As the season shifts from the cobbles to the Ardennes, the rouleurs make way for the puncheurs. Few, though, savour this time of the season as much as a man with five Ardennes Classics podium finishes to his name, Irishman Dan Martin. Ardennes week is going to be my favourite week's racing of the year. It's an intensity that you don't get in other races. It's a type of racing that I really enjoy because it's all or nothing. It's like it's, you, you start, it's, it's, it's all on that one day, and if you make one mistake during the, during the whole day, obviously some mistakes you can get away with, you can bluff, but other mistakes, it costs you the race. And even a, a little mistake in the, that cost you a bit of energy could have maybe cost you the race. Ahead of his spring campaign, the 31-year-old Martin has a new team to get used to. After two years with Quick Step, Martin is one of the headline arrivals to a UAE Emirates squad with a clear focus and a renewed ambition. From the very beginning, UAE was a prime, prime candidate, obviously, because the, their ambitions in the sport fitted with mine. And it was uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very exciting project to be involved in now. I think you're seeing it's, it's a team very much in transition. That's it's, it's got an incredible history behind it. I find it very motivating to come to a team like that. Whenever you leave a team, it's difficult because at the end of the day, a, a team is your family away from home. You know, it's you almost spend as much time with the team as you do at home with, with my wife. You know, so it's you do you do create bonds and uh, yeah, we're always leaving the exception sports or yeah, leaving quick step. It's all it, it's it's tough. That change has also meant old friends have become key rivals for the Hilly Classics. With Philippe Gilbert and the prodigious talent of Julien Alaphilippe leading the quick step floors assault on the Ardennes, Martin hopes to have the inside track on this potent force. He's racing against uh, like Philippe Gilbert and Julien Alaphilippe. I still talk to them both now, especially Julien, because yeah, he now lives about two kilometres from me in Andorra. They're incredibly tough competitors, you know, and, and racing against them, obviously, everybody focuses on Alejandro the other day, but obviously Julian missed the Classics last year, so he's, uh, he's going to be incredibly difficult to beat, but uh, hopefully by racing with them, I know, I might know how to beat them. But what about Alejandro Valverde, aiming for an unprecedented fifth straight flesh title and a fifth win at Liège to equal the great Eddie Merckx? The veteran has been in stellar form this season, and Martin knows all too well how hard it is to overcome the Spaniard. It's an effort that really suits him, the same as it suits me. You know, as you say, it's kind of, he's just like, he's got that little bit on me each time, but hopefully we can change that issue. He's got an incredibly strong team. I mean, that's the, and the, he, he saves as much, he arrives at the finish, like, as fresh as you can possibly be because he's been protected well all day and, and, and that, and I, that's something that I haven't perhaps had the best of the last, up until now, you know? So, I mean, that's definitely something that's, uh, that's key, just to be able to arrive at the finish as fresh as possible, and hopefully, hopefully I'll have that little bit extra on him this year when, I, uh, when we get there, but he's also getting older now, so hopefully that's gonna count against him. Martin will, however, have a strong team around him spearheading a UAE triple threat with Rui Costa and Diego Ulisi. But it is another new face to the team that Martin hopes will prove the difference in the Ardennes. One of the big, uh, big most important signings was, was Rory Sutherland, because, I mean, obviously he's ridden for Alejandro, he knows how, how Movistar protects Alejandro during, the, during those races, and... I think he's got a hell of a lot of experience to be able to just support me in those races and, and guide me and and tell me when I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's that's also important. You know, it's it's kind of yeah, being uh, having that having that kind of team captain to be able to tell to guide the team to to support a leader properly. I mean, that's that's very very important. With the likes of Sutherland by his side, Martin has his sights firmly set on repeating a feat he managed back in 2013, winning Liège Baston Liège. Liège 2013 is still going to be obviously one of my highlights, the highlights of my career. So it's uh, it was just a day when yeah everything went to plan, just felt incredible, and uh, yeah it's very rare in cycling that you actually. Yeah, the stars are mine and you just you feel incredible on the day that you want to feel really good on, you know. It's 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 just uh 
yeah, and just the, the level, I think, how good I was feeling, kind of everything just seemed like it was in slow motion. It was very much a, yeah, tactically did everything right and then had the legs to finish it off. It was just a, a great memory, but I still can't believe it's like, obviously the fifth anniversary now, isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs>